In this video, apart from lot taking ages to park a car, we uncover what the blooming hell soap bubble bokeh is. After Lock looks at yesterday's technology today. This is old. The only thing we need for the next one. And I cry. I'm literally crying. Oh yes, and this video is sponsored by Squarespace, the place to go to to set up your own slick looking website. All right, let's check out what's in our boot slash trunk for American people. Okay, so here we are again for episode two, quite unbelievably, of Carboo Camera. Carboo Camera, uh, Carboo yeah. Cell Camera, something like Whatever. that. Whatever, otherwise known as crap from Locke's car boot. It's not crap, it's not just from my car boot. Okay, so just a recap of what happened last time, Locke showed us this stuff. Boom, this is a card case and a card reader in one. What brand is this? Um, Pray, Pray, Te? Pray, Pray, Pray. Basically, a load of crap. Just to summarize what this is all about, it's yeah, basically covering some of the camera gear and accessories that you might not find on the big websites, mm. you know, the prominent products. It's the kind of the small stuff that you'd find in the deepest depths of Amazon. We give the voice to all the small manufacturers yeah. and, uh, and those accessories that we don't bother to make a whole full video about. Hashtag not an ad. Ho hopefully it will become uh, sponsored. <laughs> Log's still thinking about the money, but yet yeah, all of these brands have watched this, watched the previous video, maybe, and just realised that we're not paying them because they're doing it for free. Let's get started. Uh, Lock, are you going to go first? I have brought okay, some yeah. fun stuff in case I get bored. You know, I've got other things to be doing. Well, let's start with um, the one we're actually using. It's a power bank. Let's see what you do. I mean, about. it could be. Um, yeah, it's another power bank, but uh, this is a good one. Okay, well, what's so everything. good about this? What compared to another power bank? It's got everything. Got USB A, of course, USB C. It got wireless charging, DC output, and AC output. So it got everything. Uh, uh, the thing is, I've got this for over a year. Yeah, this uh, they send it to me for over a year. Uh... I feel bad of. Well, I don't feel bad to cut this whole segment out. Yeah. Yeah, all right, so my turn. Woohoo! What? Oh, that's it. Thank you. Thanks for watching. See ya. What? Oh, <laughs> shit. The, um, this product. Oh, it's good that is, that's your camera. It's, it's fine. the brand new T2. Oh, no, oh, no. you got a... I'm, I'm, I'm bubbling people. You give that car a wash. So, this is the brand new TT Artisans. 100 millimeter f 2.8 and it's that's tt artisan yes you have a look at the lens first because i am in a bit of a bubble storm here so this is do you mean that that bubble thing? yeah you have a look at the box no 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 no. the bubble is just just an accessory so just to create some dramatic effect toys, toys R Us. yeah but anyway oh, oh no oh no it's gone faster let's go faster okay it's famed or this is based on a lens that is famous for its soap bubble bokeh so this is based on uh, an old german lens this is uh, this is the lens this is an m42 mount which is a uh, old school mount it's old pentax yes. better than and other lenses better and other than m41 or the m25 <laughs> m25 is, is always a lot of traffic so this thing costs 210 dollars or 179 pounds that's pretty good f 2.8 100 millimeters but yeah it's based on the Maya optic tria plan lens which was also 100 millimeter f 2.8 so three elements hence the trio plan now this was a lens that was made a long time ago and recently there was a some sort of kickstarter somebody had essentially had the idea of bringing it back they had lots of people invest in it and then they went bankrupt and took on money. And then it got bought out by another company, apparently not affiliated with that company that went bankrupt. But then they've just produced it for sale at a bit of a cost. But now TT Artisan, they, copy it. they're very careful not to say my optic or copy or anything like that. They just say soap bubble bokeh. Thank you. So the, the, um, the one you can buy new is about $900. This one is, $200 so you could save quite a bit of money 
So maybe you can try this with one of the Lumix cameras. Maybe try this on me because there's some nice trees in the background there for some, some bokeh. I probably have to hold the seven stop filter on top. So when we talk about bokeh and the quality of it, we usually want nice looking bokeh, which is the creamy stuff. Stuff that kind of blends away is just all blurry and gooey, kind of disappears into the background. Bad bokeh is the stuff which is opposite of that, is harsh. It's perhaps got these kind of onion ring bokeh lines on the edges of those bokeh circles. Soap bubble bokeh is what we'd usually consider as ugly bokeh, the onion ring bokeh. It's got the bright highlight ring around those bokeh circles. I don't know who called it soap bubble bokeh, but essentially this lens has got a cult following just because it produces bokeh, which is characteristically kind of awful. <laughs> but some people like it. And I'm sure in certain situations it might be fine, but I don't think it looks good for portraits because you want people to look at the person, right? You don't want to, to look at a bokeh and think, oh, look at all that bokeh. In my opinion, that kind of bokeh looks terrible for portraits, mostly. For flower photography, the distinct bokeh adds some detail to what would be a plain, boring background if the bokeh was just all smooth. But why get a tree plan or this TT Artisan 100mm f2.8? After all, so bubble bokeh seems like a posh way of saying ugly bokeh. Well, there is something about the way this focal length lens design produces bokeh balls that are big and round throughout most of the frame, with the brighter but not totally hard outlines accentuating just how beautifully circular they are. Although it has to be said that it doesn't always produce this kind of effect with bokeh balls. And you know what? Sometimes the bokeh looks kind of alright. Well, I know maybe maybe this is the key to making soap bubble bokeh. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, the taste of soap bubble bokeh. Give something usually considered undesirable a cutesy name and suddenly it sounds all attractive. It might not be to every taste, but everyone has different tastes. People want to believe in photography as an art form, but we're all too keen to talk about softness, flaring, vignetting and harsh bokeh negatively. There's a creative purpose for any of those in photography. And if you fancy a bit of soap bubble bokeh, forget what people say about what bokeh you should or shouldn't be getting. If you're curious, just get the TTR set and spending all that money on a remade lens with the original name on it might be an expensive mistake if you end up hating it. The TT Ansan is a new lens with all the quirks of vintage. It flares like crazy and it's soft as, but without all the potential pitfalls of trying to find a vintage lens in good optical condition. All right, thank you. What's next? If you want to set up your own website, online store, or just your own domain, it's super easy to get started with Squarespace with a slick, easy to use interface filled with a plethora of templates to choose from and with 24 7 customer service to help you out if you need it. You can give it a try with a 14 day free trial and 10% off your first order by using this link and discount code. All right, my turn. You Lancy. <laughs> you Lancy. <laughs> what an um, awful name. You. You. You Lancy. You lan you lan si? <laughs> lan lan oh, 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 how do you how do you pronounce it? Oh lan si. Oh lan si. <laughs> you, you, you lan si? You lan si? Yeah, this is a you lan si GP16. Okay. So I've got this for probably over a year as well. <laughs> Look, I am covering the latest products here and you are covering products that people could have bought a year ago. Because um, a year ago we haven't got this car for sale idea, that's all. <laughs> because it's got <laughs> quite strong mat there, so... Oh... So you don't need those strap or... You don't have to have to buy those strap and strap onto your body, it looks weird. You just have it like this. Okay. So this eliminates the need for a strap-on. Yeah. So have you had much experience with a strap-on one? No. Uh, but you've got one. You've got a strap on. I bought one, I never use it. <laughs> Where do you keep your strap on at home? With other gear. So you'd say that you've got a box of these uh, gears which are similar style. Similar style? To the strap on. So <laughs> 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 I'm literally crying. <laughs> So would you say? <laughs> I'll just keep talking. 
You just keep talking to the camera first. I need to, I need to recompose. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Oh man. You try that. You you mount that onto your coat. Ow. <laughs> and then jump about in front of the camera. I'm not sure about the coat because it's a bit fake. No, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You, oh, it's good. Yeah, because people could be mounting mounting this onto a jacket or even thicker coat than this. So it's got you've got to bear that in mind. Whoa, whoa okay. <laughs> I think it's not bad. It's useful. I just wish it was a little bit more streamlined. It looks a bit cumbersome, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So my turn. Uh, in my car boot, I've got the Sony A93. You put the A93 in the car boot cell video? Yeah. It, uh, isn't it supposed to be for, oh, for crap? No, I'm saying you usually show crap. Isn't it supposed to be uh, for so accessories that you don't bother to make a whole video out of it? Yeah, look, it's an accessory. It's an accessory to my lens. But no, because the A93, uh, I didn't go to their Turkey trip. There was a trip in Turkey. Why not? I didn't go, I, I don't know, I was busy. Um, so I didn't get to do the, the embargo yeah. release date video yeah. like everybody else did. Lazy. So therefore, um, it's uncovering something which I've not tried before yeah. and I don't know too much about. So it's a Sony A93. Global shutter, as we know. Um, high, high flash speed sync, flash speed. So this is the Sony A93, otherwise known as the game changer. The camera that is going to destroy all other brands. Have you, you've seen those videos where they say, oh, this is going to destroy such and such. I think you have to be careful with these kind of people because if, if they get weapons or anything like that, yeah, or exactly. uh, weapons of mass destruction, they're just going to go Wild. around destroying other people's. Yeah. <laughs> but it's not a, it's really not a camera. I mean, not a um, gear for this video. Okay. Carboot, carboot cell, something more fun. Come on. What do you mean something more fun? This is fun. Oh. Wow! Wow! That made me do a little bit of a sex wing in my pants there. You need you need a whole video for this. This but is this is the game changing destroyer of all camera brands. How can, how can you camera. say it's not fun when it causes so much destruction? Yeah, this doesn't count. So that is another episode of uh, whatever this is called, crap in locks, boot, slash trunk, whatever you Americans call it. Why 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 me? You got quite. Uh, all my stuff Whatever. is good. For more reviews of utter rubbish, go to his channel. No, I don't use even make video of this. That's why no, it's in this oh, video. Well, okay. You've given it to my channel. Thank you. <laughs> I'm really grateful. That's cardboard video for you. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Slash Apple trunk cell. for Americans. That is where I have to end the video. There's just simply too much good stuff to show you and Lock has run out of crap to show you. I hope you've managed to learn something, even if it is to not watch Car Boot Camera again. Please don't unsubscribe and also check out Lock's channel, where he presumably reviews all of the latest products from last year. Cheers, see ya. I mean, talk, going back to the strap-on, you'd probably use a strap-on if you're getting zero D.